guys. Welcome to our first official Leadership Council for the 2021-2022 DECA season. Again, my name is James Rosenberger. I'm your guys' VP of Leadership Development this year. If you guys are new to Leadership Councils, which I'm sure many of you are, Leadership Councils are monthly sessions where I interact personally with DECA members across the state and try to teach them and help facilitate their knowledge of business and DECA over the course of the year. Over the course of the year, we're going to be covering topics like starting new DECA chapters, or interacting with business professionals. And overall, I hope to get our members like you to speak with each other and interact, and hopefully foster more of a statewide community amongst our DECA environment. So guys, thank you for being here. And without further ado, we'll get started with jumpstarting new and emerging DECA chapters. So as a review for our plan of this leadership council, we're going to be covering qualifying if your chapter is new and emerging. I know you guys listed your chapters in the chat, and if you guys want to continue to do that, I'd really appreciate that. Um, but first of all, we're going to cover are your chapters new and emerging, and really what that means. We're, next, we're going to move on to keys to what makes successful chapters. Three, we're going to be covering some content and curriculum for chapters that helps them grow, some promotion and participation opportunities, and then we're going to wrap up with connections to Illinois DECA, as well as finalizing with our first local chapter incentive, which you guys will figure out what that means near the end of the Leadership Council. Anytime through this council, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know and please feel free to voice your, your opinions or reach out at any time. Thank you guys and I hope you enjoy. So let's get a quick introduction. Who am I? Again, I said my name is James Rosenberger. I'm our Vice President of Leadership Development here at Illinois DECA. I'm a four-year DECA member um, who is from Naperville area. My chapter is Nequa Valley High School. If you guys are in the Naperville area or heard of Nequa, uh, we love DECA here at Nequa. Um, I'm, over the course of my DECA career, I've mainly been in the marketing cluster. So if you guys wanna share what event you guys are in, I'd love to hear it as well, but I currently compete in business services marketing. And uh, one of my favorite memories at DECA uh, was competing in Orlando four years ago, and that's where a lot of the pictures are. Again, if you guys wanna share what event you guys are in, you guys can uh, put it in the chat or um, uh, shout out as well. I'd love to hear you guys. <laughs> Best chapter, marketing, I like that. Best chapter, Niles North, I don't know about that. Um, but of course, all, all different events at DECA are great. So we're glad that you guys are gonna be competing that this year and we're glad that we're tentatively in person right now. That's, that's great news. Business services marketing, that's what I'm in. I'm, that's really great. Business finance. That's awesome to see the diversity here. Marketing communications, that is great. Anyone in hospitality? If you guys are in hospitality, that is a unique cluster, retail marketing. So we have a lot of marketing people here. That's great. All right, so you guys know enough about me. Uh, let's move on. Are your chapters really new and emerging and what that means? So as I'm talking about this, I'd love for you to think about, if you could think about what your chapter needs to work on. And during this process, if you want to write it in the chat or talk, speak out a little bit after, I'd love to hear you. So signs the answer that your chapter is really new and emerging. Well, for one, your chapter could have been recently started. What that means is in the past two or three years, your chapter was recently established or revived. The best chapter I think about for this example is Obanzi's DECA chapter, which was recently established a couple years ago and is already growing extremely fast. In fact, we have an Illinois DECA state president from Obanzi this year. That's great to hear. Smaller membership. So by smaller membership, I mean that your DECA chapter is smaller in size. Maybe you guys have had a hard time maintaining involvement or maintaining membership over the course of the year, especially with upperclassmen. I know that at NICO, sometimes we have that issue, and I'm sure that is an issue as uh, reverberated across the state for other chapters as well. Again, an, a new and emerging chapter could also be defined by needing more involvement. So whether that's in iConnect, in competition, in chapter campaigns, in regular meetings, or in general activities, some chapters are lacking involvement. And that's okay, that's why we're here, to help us grow as chapters and get our members more involved. And then finally, a new and emerging chapter could have experienced an advisor change. So advisors, unfortunately, do retire from time to time or move on from their position. And sometimes that transition of leadership can be hard, especially when uh, us as students are also transitioning through high school and have to deal with uh, all the difficulties associated with that and the transfer of leadership associated with that as well. So these are all qualifiers for new and emerging chapters. If you guys have any other qualifiers you'd like to think you would like to talk about or write in the chat, I'd love to hear them. Even if you guys just want to ask what your chapters need to work on, I'd love to hear that. Um, but every chapter needs to, has things they need to work on. Overall, the goal of this leadership council is to help those chapters that are really new and emerging succeed. 
All right, let's move on from here. Again, if you answered yes to any of these any of these questions, then you are in the right place. The state action team and I are here to help your chapter maximize your momentum. All right, so let's explore some keys to successful Illinois DECA chapters. Again, what are the most important parts of chapters that are ultimately successful? This is going to be a quick summary of everything that we're going to be covering in this council. So when we're talking about successful DECA chapters, we could start from Illinois DECA's comprehensive learning program. Now, if you don't know what Illinois DECA, Illinois DECA's comprehensive learning program is, you wouldn't be the first. It's been a couple years since I've learned what their comprehensive learning program is, but part of being a state officer is understanding this. Their comprehensive learning program involves four main components, integration into classroom instruction, applying learning, connecting to business, and promoting competition. These four steps of our comprehensive learning program mean that DECA is directly involved with their students not only getting involved into the classroom, applying the learning that they're getting from other business classes and in their own independent research, connecting the business topics that they're exploring and promoting competition in one's chapter and outside of it in sectionals, regionals, and ultimately nationals. DECA's comprehensive learning program also involves DECA's, one of DECA's primary statements, being academic prepared, community oriented, professionally responsible, and fostering experienced leaders. So we could start with these, four, these eight principal ideas, but really, a successful chapter uh, takes more than this. There are four main components to a successful chapter. First is probably my favorite, that's open communication. So what that means, your advisor is speaking to student leaders who are speaking to members always. I think one of my favorite mediums for this is Remind and GroupMe, but there's really so much more that your advisors and yourselves could be doing as student leaders to help our members succeed in our chapters. Additionally, we wanna keep content educational, but involved. So what does that mean? We wanna keep, make sure that our chapters are learning and preparing for competition, but also keeping them involved. Instead of having them sit at meetings down, maybe interact, practice a role play, work on a, a, a chapter campaign together. There's a difference between education and involved education. And that's a key distinction between chapters that are having trouble with membership and those that are growing actively. The third and one of my favorites is creative promotion. So James, what, what do you mean by that? You might think, hey, it's just social media, you know, Twitter, Instagram posts on the social media team. That is one aspect, but promotion can also come in many other ways. One of my favorites is through teacher contests, and then we'll explore that later. But there are many ways through which we can advertise DECA to our members and really promote ourselves as successful and growing chapters. Finally, it, and this is actually probably the most important, the opportunities that our students are able to involve themselves in and our members. So whether that's a fundraising activity, getting involved in iConnect, which is super important as a whole, or participating in DECA month, which is actually this month, if you guys did not know, this is DECA month. Um, so there's plenty of activities you guys can involve yourselves in every day of DECA month, uh, full scale chapter campaigns, or even involving themselves with Illinois DECA. All right, let's move on from these components to our third part. So some help on content and curriculum. Some of you may be here because you don't quite know what to tell our members on a day-to-day -day basis. I know that we have weekly meetings here at NEQA, and sometimes we struggle with informing our members and, and determining exactly what we should be teaching them. So let's take a deep dive every month, exploring what our chapters should be covering and how we can get students to be involved. And of course, during this process, if you have any questions or any concerns with teaching content to our students and our members, I'd love to hear it. And please feel free to, to talk out and uh, write in the chat. So for example, we have an August through May calendar. Of course, the DECA season really never stops. Over the summer, there's Illinois DECA uh, election season. Um, there's preparation for manuals, written events, all that, all that stuff. But I'm gonna focus more on the school year because that's when we can directly impact our members. So if you're like our chapter at New York Nequa and the chapters I've interacted with, most of the time you have an executive officer team and that's gonna be covered primarily during the beginning of the year. So that is in August, when your advisors of your DECA chapters help elect a body of student leaders who are help, helping to facilitate member interaction that year. You have your first meeting, you have maybe your primary social media post where you introduce yourselves as a DECA, uh, welcome in that students, your members for that year, and really encourage the growth of DECA for that season. And equal, we have something called an activity fair, which is where we advertise our club and our organization to prospective members. So something like that could be great and, and hugely impactful for students. 
And then slogans, which I'll get into later. And Nico, we uh, kind of use the overused what the heck a join DECA, but there are some other great ones uh, that help foster membership. We had a question from Maxwell. What day or time do you hold meetings? What would you like to improve turnout? Well, that's a great question. At Nico, we hold meetings every Thursday at 6.45 a.m. So that might seem like bright and early, and uh, it really is. But by promoting consistency, uh, yeah, if, and if anyone here in the chat wants to talk about when they hold meetings, that could be helpful as well. They could put it in the chats. Um, but as a whole, overall, and at our chapters, we hold it at 6.45 a.m. every Thursday morning. And the key is consistency with this. If our members know when our meetings are consistently, um, they're able to come and they uh, enjoy our meetings. So let's move on to September. September for us at our chapter and chapters across Illinois is really when you want to start exploring what DECA is really about. So when, we, when we're in September, we explore the cluster. We even have something called an event fair, which is where our students explore in four different classrooms, marketing, finance, hospitality, and management. There, they're gonna learn all about role plays related to these clusters, as well as related written events, virtual event opportunities, and even chapter campaigns. So that is really the purpose of September and October, informing our members all about DECA. We had a question, what do you discuss at your meetings? Well, it depends based on what week you're in or if you're in DECA month or if you're pre-competition. But generally at meetings, you want to pick a topic. So whether that's exploring role plays, exploring written events, introducing virtual competition, or even briefing our members on what a role play is or what each cluster of DECA is or really what DECA is all about or how they can get involved, I like to focus our meetings on one central topic and revolving our activities and participation around that. If you have any more questions related to that, please feel free to write another message. I love to answer you guys' questions as we go. Again, October is a great opportunity to continue exploring what DECA is all about. But at NICWA and in many chapters I've talked to, we also love to bring in business professionals. Because DECA is not only a competition-based career and technical student organization. We hope to interact or bring our members directly into contact with business professionals in the area. So you might know that many of our written events involve interaction with business professionals, and that's one of the most important parts of DECA as an organization. But in our meetings, we also want to facilitate the same conversation between ourselves and business professionals in the area. So I know that um, at our DECA meetings, we will have conversations with professionals, with past alumni, and we'll even facilitate meetings with these professionals through our chapter campaigns. And if also, I know you guys have might, might have been involved in virtual events in October. October is typically around where round one of virtual events are. So one of your topics for those meetings could be about virtual events. And virtual events are a great way to get members involved, especially during this time when we really have a lot of uncertainty related to competition. November is the best month of the year if you're a DECA student because it's DECA month. If you guys have been following Ona DECA social media, you'll see a post every day related to the topic of DECA month for that day. So if you're a chapter and you want to hold a meeting on a certain day, it would be extremely helpful on that day to check out what, what is the theme for that day of DECA month. Also, November is you're starting to approach competition. So many chapters like to hold local chapter competitions. And again, we'll discuss those and how they can promote membership later. And November is also a great time to start getting your chapter involved in iConnect. Uh, many new chapters might not know what iConnect is, and that's completely all right. But it's one of the best ways for your local chapters to interact with Illinois DECA and pursue initiatives that incentivize growth and participation throughout your entire chapter. Again, Bibi mentioned a great comment that a go-to is always competition prep advice from experienced DECA, DECA members of the past. December is really when we want to start preparing for competition. So just as winter break is rolling around and students are beginning to feel the pressure of sectional competition, we want to get them prepared. So whether that's dress, how to perform a role play, finalizing our written events, um, or any other facet of competition, December is really important for competition preparation. But um, outside of that competition prep, January is really when it all gets serious. We have sectional competition this year, which is a, 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 a helpful turn of events related to last year. But within this competition prep in January, we want to be sending our members to sectionals, making sure they're prepared, answering any and all questions they have related to sectionals, and competing for that deck of glass. Again, you could help with fundraising in, for, the, for our state conference in January as well. I remember our chapter two years ago in January raised around $4,000 in funding for our state competition to pay for hotel fees and transportation costs. So again, fundraisers are a great way to involve our members and help promote success in our in DECA chapters. Uh, February is around the time when you're preparing for state. 
And then March is around the time when you're preparing for nationals. And again, by having this much time for preparation, you can be sure that your members will succeed in and around competition. April is our International Career Development Conference, and May is really when our members will start applying for, our new exec for, for their new executive board applications. And many of your members might consider applying to be on the state action team as well, or our social media team. So looking at the year as a whole, there's, there's so many different activities and topics that I've missed, but this is a great overview of really what your chapters want to cover. And if you guys want to take a screenshot of this or a picture, or even ask me questions at the end of the meeting, I love to answer them. And in the chat, if you guys have any favorite DECA activity that you guys have done in your chapter, I'd love to hear it, or you guys can speak out. I'll give you guys a minute to do that. And if you want to share, I'd love to hear it. All right. It's all right if we have no comp we have no uh, audio, <laughs> um, oral participation, but if you guys want to speak out, feel free. Uh, this is a great environment to share what you guys are thinking about, some of your guys' advice. Some of us are seasoned uh, DECA pro. Some of us are state officers in this call too, so there's a lot of great people you can reach out to. They being said, an induction ceremony with chocolate cake. That seems great. Uh, Sean said, we have a cluster carnival. That seems really similar to our activity fair, so that seems exciting. Any other different competitions or, or chapter activities that you guys find interesting? If not, we will continue on. All right, let's continue on. So you might be asking yourselves, James, this is a lot of content. And you just said that there's a distinction between educating your members and involving them. So how am I supposed to cover these, these different areas in DECA but still involve our members? Well, there's a perfect answer to this. Sending spending some of each individual meeting covering information and then the remainder of the meeting through doing an activity. Again, we wanna get our DECA members up and moving, talking to each other, competing, practicing, working as a chapter uh, together. So really we make, we make content engaging by dividing our meetings between an information section and an activity section. Again, this also helps promote involvement and member retention by involving our chapters and their members in activities. They'll, they'll know that by going to a DECA meeting, they'll be getting themselves involved, preparing for competition, and having a good time, above just getting information that's valuable for their competition. Again, if you guys have any favorite activities, I'd love to hear them in the chat. We can show them out for members or chapters that might be in need of activities. I know one of my favorite activities is when we pair up our members during our meeting in role play competition. They each get a prompt, get to share to each other. They take turns as the judge and as the presenter. And we listen to them, we make, we make helpful, constructive criticism that ultimately helps our membership as a whole. If we don't have any more comments, we can continue. I said earlier that I was going to get into intro chapter competitions. And actually, Ubanzi just had an intro chapter competition. Uh, I think it was a couple days ago. Intro chapter competitions are some of the best ways to get your members involved, especially during this year with COVID-19. I know at least our chapter is limited in membership. I know a great majority of those across the state are. And many of us have more membership than allotted. Interchapter competitions are also a great opportunity to get members that are not going to be involved in official competition to get that experience of competing. These are some pictures from Obanzi's conference and we see our Illinois DECA presidents, Jay Sabrzesh, uh, conducting this amazing interchapter competition. And you could see how our, the, his members are very involving members. Uh, William has a question. Yeah, you could reach out. I'm uh, just saying, like, oh, uh, you cut out for a little bit until, like, right after you, like, mentioned Jay. Okay, can you guys all hear me now? Everything's good? Yep. Yep. Okay, sorry about that. I did get a notification that my internet was a little unstable. So if that ever happens, guys, please be feel free to unmute yourselves. Thank you, Willie, for raising your hand. I appreciate that. Um, I was just saying that this is a great example of how Jay was running an intra-chapter competition. And you see through all the role play examples, his pictures with his members, and through them working on their role play and event or exam based competitions, we can see how this is a constructive way to bring members together in a chapter. We do have a comment about having a movie night this Monday. That is a great way to bond with members. And remember that DECA does not always have to be information focused. You can have fun with your members. You can go on fundraising opportunities or community service activities. Again, this is all part of DECA and helping to promote membership and growth. All right, let's move on to our next section where we're going to explore intro chapter competitions a little bit more. Here's a little look at some of the planning that went involved in Wabonzi's intro chapter competition. Again, you can see a schedule here, and if you want to take a picture of this, if you're planning your own intro chapter competition, that is completely fine. 
But the biggest thing with interchapter competitions, and by interchapter I mean within your own chapter, is to know your participants. In our case, we know that we only have a limited amount of people who are going to sectional competition this year. Therefore, the remaining participants are going to be engaging in what we call a junior varsity competition, but what they call an interchapter competition. Again, I kind of mentioned the stuff that these, these chapters are great for COVID restrictions. Um, and they're really also a great opportunity to involve yourselves in interacting with business professionals and state officers. I know that I would love to help judge an interchapter competition in any chapter across the state. So if you guys ever feel like you want some, some judging from someone that's been in DECA a long time, I know myself and many of the other members of the Illinois DECA State Action Team would love to help out with judging. So that's another great way to facilitate growth in your chapter. Obviously, uh, you want your board to extensively set up for this competition and facilitate operations through uh, what I found was always helpful was dividing your participants into two groups. One will do the exam or the other will do the role play and then they will switch. And again, you could do really fun awards. Last year, we actually did medals at our school, even for our JV competition. Uh, so that is really great. And it makes our members feel like even if they're not competing officially that year, they still understand what that is all about and are not left in the dark. I know that Wabonzi did an interchapter competition, but if any of you guys else have done one within your own chapter, feel free to um, unmute yourself, speak out on it, or write it in the chat. I'd love to hear how you guys did it. And if not, we will move on. But again, if you guys have any questions about these types of competitions before sectionals and before ILCDC, um, you, can, you can reach out to me at any time. I'll have my email at the end of this leadership council. Um, but we'll move on because we do not have any commentary on this one. It's okay. To our fourth section, promotion and participation. So I mentioned earlier that this promotion content is partially about social media, but it is about a lot more too. There are four main important aspects. And then the number one one is engagement. So by engagement, I don't only mean that promotionary material should be informative. It should also be exciting, involved, colorful, and I underline fun because it should be fun. Um, hopefully you guys got our promotion material for the Leadership Council and you guys saw something in it that made you guys want to attend. That's part of the goals of promotion. We want this slide. For example, you can look at this slideshow. The theme of this slideshow is supposed to be fun, engaging, involved, and also cover information that you guys need to, that is vital to your chapter's success. Important aspects of promotion also include highlighting important parts of the chapter. So say you're promoting a chapter campaign, a huge chapter campaign in which you want all of your members to participate. One of the best ways to do so would be to highlight important parts of that campaign and what you hope to achieve through its operation. I will say that, maybe loves the slides theme. Can you guess who made the slides? Um, anyways, our third aspect of promotion is making posts catchy and consistent. I said that our chapter slogan is what the hecka join DECA. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have a similar slogan because it's pretty popular around Illinois. But again, uh, I would be remiss to say that that's not the, that is definitely the most a popular slogan in our school for, for chapters and organizations. You hear kids all around our school who are not a part of DECA saying, what the heck, every time DECA is mentioned. So that is a great way to promote your membership and encourage um, a fun atmosphere that involves participation. Uh, finally, I think one of the most rewarding um, ways to promote your chapter is to connect with Illinois DECA. Uh, this year, I decided to, to run to be a state officer and get in the position. I was the first student at my school to ever be a state officer. And what that was is it didn't only uh, elevate me to helping to uh, facilitate my passion and teach you guys how to grow your own chapters and have that same love for DECA as I do. It has also helped my chapter connect with the state and grow because of that. So if any of you guys want to participate, you can also reach out to me about tips and election tips and how uh, all that material is going to be translated to you. That is a summer thing. But again, the most important part of participating with Illinois DECA is that you're able to grow your own chapter. And this can be done through becoming a state officer, joining our social media team, through iConnect, through DECA Month, through members of the month, and through even competitions. So again, there's so many opportunities for you to connect with Illinois DECA. Here is, Bibi will love this, some examples we have from our social media team. You might recognize the one on the left. Uh, that was our promotion material for this leadership council. We have one for the social media team this year. We have a B, our last year's Illinois DECA state president. You might remember him if you guys are multi-year members. And then we have an advertisement for our YouTube channel, uh, which you guys should totally check out and subscribe to. Anyways, what do you guys notice about all of these materials? Well, um, I'll say a couple of things and then you guys will get the chance to speak about it. But uh, you guys might notice that they're all very colorful. 
they, they really pop out and they really showcase DACA as something that's fun, exciting, and evolved. None of them are really, <laughs> Vivian, yes, they are all really gorgeous. Um, but as an overall theme, it promotes DECA as happy, enjoyable, um, and overall um, an interesting organization to be a part of. And again, that is enticing to those that see the advertisement. So if you're a chapter and you're looking to involve members, uh, uh, making these graphics through Canva or any other social media creation site is great. You can even put them around your school, hand them out to members or non-members, and even get your teachers in the business department or in any other department in your school to talk about DECA. Really getting people to talk about DECA is the most important promotion tactic I can give you guys. Because if our members and non-members are speaking, we are getting benefited by it. All right, let's move on to other types of promotion. Earlier, I mentioned bringing in business professionals or past alumni. Um, these are really great opportunities. Uh, in each of our local communities, there are, are plentiful business professionals, even if they're your parents or, or peers that you guys know. These business professionals can offer valuable real world advice that can help um, supplement the material you learn in DECA meetings. Or you can bring in past alumni to explore their memories, experiences, advice, and any other content that members might like to hear. Uh, one of our favorite things to do at NEQA is to hold a chapter fundraiser or community service project, really making a difference. And that's one of the core components of Illinois DECA and DECA as a whole nationally, making a difference with the knowledge that we gain. So we have a, a whole group of chapter campaigns. You can check them out on Illinois De or, or at DECA.org if your individual chapter wants to run one. And again, they're, they're so exciting because you can involve all of the members of your chapter and really work as a collective to succeed something greater or to achieve something greater. Uh, some other promotional opportunities include t-shirts, wearables. We can even make it a contest. I know that at our school, we have t-shirt contests where we get to pick the best one and then we fundraise for it and we wear it. And boy, do DECA members love wearing those shirts. Uh, finally, I already mentioned this, but talking about DECA to your friends, in the classroom, to your teachers, and to your peers, focusing on why it's helpful and fun. Combining that, those two aspects really draws members in and teaches them that DECA is an opportunity where they can not only learn and supplement their business knowledge outside of the classroom, but also experience fun and, and form everlasting relationships with their peers. So hearing this, I'm going to break you guys out to breakout rooms for just a little bit. I know this is, uh, the era of Zoom is over and I know you guys do not like breakout rooms. Uh, we're gonna do it for a couple minutes. Uh, if you guys want to uh, turn on your screens and unmute yourselves and talk with each other for a little bit, I would appreciate it so that it's not super awkward in the breakout rooms, but I understand if it's, uh, you guys cannot do that. Um, I totally get it. Um, so we're gonna be breaking you guys out, maybe talking about how your chapters promote in the past and how you guys can improve your promotion ideas. So I will be doing that right now. If any of you guys have any difficulties getting in the breakout room, stick back and let me know. Otherwise, we'll be coming back to the room in around two or three minutes. Thank you, guys. All right. And as people are coming back in the main room, hopefully those breakout rooms were all right. Uh, please let me know if you guys have any criticisms about the breakout rooms or if there wasn't a lot of participation. Um, that's really up to all of you guys, and we really hope that you guys are able to take this time to facilitate conversation with other members across the state. I know um, breakout rooms are really sometimes not the best, uh, but that's the best way that I can get you guys talking with each other, um, especially during these meetings uh, when I really want you guys to be talking, sharing your ideas and opinions. Does anyone have any ideas for promotion that they discussed in the meeting that they want to share? Uh, if they don't, it's completely all right, but I'd love to hear some people and some voices out here. Um, so at Nels North, we have our own student-run business called Decadent Delights, and we sell milkshakes. And all the kids are actually interested in it, so it's perfect because people always ask, like, oh, what is it? Because a lot of the proceeds actually go to, towards the chapter, so it works out perfectly. That's great. Um, that sounds like a sim kind of similar to a fundraiser that we did at Nikwa a couple years ago where we sold popcorn, and we raised money for states. So... Again, these fundraisers are a great way to unite your chapter behind a cause. Um, and if and if you have any more, if you I know we have some members who are asking about the milkshakes. If you want to explain it more in the chat or uh, out here too, um, we'd all love to hear it probably. <laughs> any other ideas for promotion that we have that we talked in the breakout rooms? So I go to Oak Forest High School. And one thing, so our mascot is a bengal. One thing that we do is we have what's called a bengal bean open all day. 
and we sell coffee, lemonade, tea, like hot chocolate, stuff like that throughout the day. Yeah. And we have little cards just saying like what DECA is and it has a QR code on it where if they want, they can join our club. And then it also gives a whole bunch of information on what we do and just how we work as a team to do everything together. That's great. And again, that's that's uniting your members behind a cause and behind a promotionary tactic. And even in a school run business is a great way to do that. Um, again, these promotionary activities are not limited to social media activities. And they really should be seen as much more than that. So I know I mentioned t-shirts and business alums and professionals, but these two ideas are great. School-run businesses are a great way to uh, uh, promote DECA as a whole and encourage membership. Any other uh, comments about promotion or, or chapter ideas that you guys have done in the past? Or we'll move on. All right, thank you guys for, for sharing out. I really appreciate hearing you guys. Um, I love to interact with our members and that's part of why I did this job. So if you guys ever wanna talk and just have some opinions, I love to have you guys reach out, unmute yourselves, raise your hands. I love these councils to be an opportunity to discuss, not just me presenting. So thank you guys. Thank you. Yep, let's move on to our, uh, one of our most important sections, connecting to Illinois DECA. So, um, Above participating as a state officer or doing iConnect, um, part of the most important parts of promoting your chapter is reaching out to Illinois DECA. And we can even, um, there are many ways where you can, your chapters can interact with us and help improve and lead to your own successes as chapters. Um, so there's four primary ways that I have thought of to interact with Illinois DECA. The, one, the first one I already mentioned a little bit about, applying for the social media team or the state action team. The social media team is a fall application that unfortunately has already closed and the state action team was a summer application. So if you were a junior, a sophomore, or really anyone that's passionate about DECA, please, please, please consider applying for these positions with the states. Not only are they great for facilitating your own growth as a leader and as a DECA fanatic, um, they're great for your chapter as well. Uh, knowing that your chapter is connected to the state helps with their, with their own publicity, helps encourage members in that chapter that they can uh, take their leadership above and beyond where it is currently and really work on things that you're not, maybe not as comfortable about. Like for me, that's public speaking. So that's part of why I'm doing this. And again, our second main component of getting involved with Onodeca is through chapter visits and even judging opportunities. I was talking about intro chapter competitions before, and that's a great opportunity to get Onodeca State Action Team members to visit your chapters. Even if this is through a Zoom competition or anything else, we'd love to visit your, your chapters and work with your, your individuals, your student leaders to help facilitate competitions. You speak on our experience, advice, anything. These are great opportunities and feel free to interact with us through my email or any other email that you see on onodeca.org. Our third way to get involved is through iConnect. Now, many of you guys might not know what iConnect is, especially if you're new and emerging, but that's all right. iConnect is a great, great, great way to promote your chapter through interacting and through competing with uh, different initiatives that are written in a spreadsheet that is presented out through um, one of our state officers this year. iConnect is a yearly initiative that, that encourages members to engage in a number of measures. So whether that's promotion, uh, attending these leadership councils, which by the way, um, that is an iConnect initiative. If you guys want to take a screenshot of this at any time during the meeting or take a picture, this is a great way to submit iConnect materials. Um, but generally, iConnect is got, uh, represents guided incentives to boost your chapter to success. Christina is leading iConnect this year. That's why she's saying iConnect is really great, but she's not lying. Uh, iConnect is a great opportunity to all, not only elevate yourselves as student leaders, but to promote your chapter and lead them to new heights. And there are even extra chapter perks if you do great in iConnect. Our final way to get involved is through President's Councils. So this is going to be led by our Illinois State President, Jason Abrashesh, and he's going to be teaching you guys how to gain valuable insight and networking with other chapter members. Again, these President's Councils, actually the first one is going to be held tomorrow. So if you guys um, want to be part of that, Jay should have sent your chapter president an email, and these are great opportunities to get involved. We had a comment saying that... Now, as North will be active in iConnect, that's great to hear. iConnect is an amazing opportunity. If you guys have any questions about iConnect, you can contact Christina. She's in the chat right now. All right, let's move on a bit. Our last part of this leadership council, I know this has gone a little long, so I apologize for that, is going to be our local chapter incentive. Now, these words are going to get a little bit familiar with you guys as these councils go on. 
uh, the little spin on leadership councils I wanted to add is I wanted to leave you guys all with something that you guys could do to extend the knowledge you've learned at a leadership council before the next one. So this year, uh, this meeting rather, your local chapter incentive is going to be to plan an introductory Zoom meeting with another chapter. Now these are also iConnect incentives, so you guys know that are a great way to earn points towards elevating your chapter to the goal level this year. So um, the first one is going to be planning an introductory Zoom meeting with another local chapter. Talking about your own DECA chapter, your promotionary tactics, your membership, and coordinating a small activity. The primary goal of local chapter incentives are kind of in the name. We want our chapters to be interacting with other local DECA chapters in their area. So one of the best ways to do that is to start a meeting. So that would be the goal of this first local chapter incentive. You could submit a screenshot of that meeting for iConnect. And overall, our goal for this would be to get you talking with other members and other chapters. Overall, by making our state membership a more cohesive unit, that is trained towards cooperating, towards competitive success, I know that we can succeed at state and beyond. If you guys have any questions about this local chapter incentive, you guys can stick back after the meeting. Um, but this will be something that I would encourage you guys to do in between now and our next leadership council. And with that, we are done with our leadership council. Our next council is going to be on December 8th. I'd like to take time to thank you guys all for being here. 